Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro. In this follow along, we are going to copy a blob from one container to another using PowerShell. So what I want you to do is go to the top here and we're gonna type in storage accounts and we're gonna create ourselves a new storage account and the storage account is going to be called, uh, well, the resource group will be called my uh, blob copy PowerShell, PS for PowerShell. And we will say blob PS Okay, a bunch of numbers because the naming is always a pain because these are fully qualified domains. Review, create, and wait a moment so you can go ahead and create. We'll hit create and we'll wait a little bit here. It only takes a few seconds, but while it's going, we might as well open up our Cloud Shell environment. If this is the first time you've ever opened up Cloud Shell, you will have to, um, you will have to uh, accept it for storage accounts. And by the way, off screen, I was doing this in another follow along. I never came back to it. But like, if you want to have Azure installed, you have to install module uh, name Azure. The Cloud Shell already does this, but this takes forever. And then once it's installed, what you would do is you do a connect. Um, and that connect command would be, I'm just trying to find it here. I think I would know it off the top of my head. I do not. It's like connect AZ account. And then what it would do is it would prompt you to log in with Microsoft. It's not going to work here on my local machine because I don't have something authenticated. Um, and so I just don't want to bother with it. But anyway, we're going to do it here because it's so much easier over here. And so we'll go back over to our, oops, that's from an old follow along. We'll go here and open this, I guess just open it here, it's fine. We'll go ahead and create a new container. So we'll say container one, and then we'll go and create container two. And we will, I guess, expand this for the most part and we'll get to it here. So now that our containers are created, we'll go ahead and make sure that we are in the correct subscription. This is something you always should do just to make sure you're in the right place. So this is the subscription we're currently set. I know it's already set correctly, but just to go through the habits of setting it, we're gonna set the context for the subscription to be explicitly this one. Because that's something that will catch you off guard as being in the wrong subscription. And so we need to set up some uh, variables. So we'll have resource group uh, equals, and we'll have to find the name of it. So we called this, we'll go to the overview here. My blob copy PS. Let's click off here. I don't know why it's doing this weird select. <laughs> Sometimes it happens. There we go. So that is the name of that. Then we need the um, storage account name. And so the storage account name is, does it show me here? No, I, I can go up one layer, go to the resource. This is the uh, storage account name. Oh boy. I always forget that you cannot uh, do command V there. You got to paste manually. And so we'll get the storage key here. And of course we could just easily get it by going on the left-hand side here and clicking a couple buttons. But again, we want to practice our PowerShell. So we'll do get az storage account key minus or hyphen resource group name dollar sign resource group hyphen name storage account. Okay, and if I've typed everything right, we'll hit enter. Uh, I don't think I typed everything right, did I? The parameter cannot be found that matches the name resource group. So that doesn't look right to me. Here. And if we do storage key, we can see we have the key. If we do zero, we can get the first one. If we do value, we can get the value, which is something we will have to do. And we set the context here for the new Azure storage context. So we'll do new hyphen AZ storage context storage account, storage account name, dollar sign storage account, storage account key, storage key. And, oh, we have to do zero dot value here. And so now if we do context, it should show us the proper context here. There we go. All right, so now what we want to do is upload some kind of blob. 
or actually we don't need to upload one, we just need to uh, store one. So I'm actually gonna use an image. I keep using the same image. In, the, in my lab, I might use a text file instead, but it's up to you what you want to use. So in here, I'm gonna go over to the container. Where are your containers? And we will go to the container here and we will click into it and I will upload a new file. So we'll say data pipe PNG upload. And now that that's been uploaded, I'm gonna type in get az storage blob hyphen blob. We call that data hyphen pipe because he's wearing, he has a pipe in his mouth in the video or in the image. And we'll say container one context dollar sign context. And we'll hit enter. It's because we forgot the hyphen here. And we spelt the blob name wrong. There we go, so it's returning that, so that is good. And the idea is we want to download it to our local storage so we can then move it to the other one. So for that, we will still have the context, but what we'll do is set a destination and say here. Oh, you know, it's, it's get Azure, Azure um, storage blob content. That's how we get the content. Not context, content. And uh, we'll say yes, because I've done this one before, so it's already here. If we do LS, it's now in our Cloud Shell, so the file is right here. So I have like a test file there. I'm gonna just remove that test file. And so now what we need to do is upload to the other container. So we'll do is do set storage blob content. We'll say file, data pipe, hyphen container, container two, context, dollar sign context, and we'll give it some properties. It's always good to set the um, content type. Whoops. Content type, no hyphen. I always try to put a hyphen there because I always think I'm doing um, uh, a header. And we'll hit enter. And so it says storage blob context. It's not right because we messed that up. It's gonna be content. And I forgot the hyphen over here. Does not recognize set storage blob content, set az storage blob content. Um, content type is invalid. I gotta spell content right. Could you tell I'm dyslexic? I actually am dyslexic, so I type a lot of stuff wrong like crazy. And I still am able to do cloud. az storage blob hyphen blob. And this is where we upload it. So we will do data pipeline here container, container two, context, dollar sign context. And so it says it's uploaded. Let's go verify if that is true. So what we will do is go over to our storage here. We will go to the resources. We will go to the containers. We will check container two to see if it's there and it's there. So we are all done. Let's go clean up. We'll go to our resource groups. We'll look for the resource group we had created here. This one is called what is it called? I forgot what it was called. That or it's just not showing up. So what I'll do is I'll make my way over to storage accounts because I don't seem to be able to find it. And we will go into, where'd it go? I'm so confused. What's our resource group called? Refresh. I'm going crazy because it was here a moment ago. We'll go into resource groups. It's right here. Again, this is this is Azure for you. Sometimes you think something's there, but it's not there, but it is there. It just it's the fact that it has to propagate. So it is in our account, and so you have to have confidence about what is there. We'll go ahead and delete, and that will delete. Uh, and there we go. We are all done.